I give them my word that I would try to be or would be the best person that they've ever had here. And I think for the most part, I've, uh, I've kept my word on that. O.J. Simpson may be one step closer to becoming a free man. The former football star is set to appear before the Nevada Parole Board today, who will then decide if Simpson should be released early from prison. Simpson was famously acquitted of the 1994 murder of his ex-wife Nicole Brown and her friend Ronald Goldman, but was found guilty in 2008 of kidnapping and armed robbery. So this is what he's serving time for. And he was sentenced to 33 years in prison, but after eight years, almost nine, he may be able to walk out of prison. Defense attorney Jason Lamb weighing in on what will happen today a little later this morning. From what I read, the one thing that he has to do is show remorse. Absolutely. Um, you know, OJ has been a model prisoner. Um, he's attended classes. He's even got the support of the victim, the victim wow. who was uh, bound in the robbery. So that's going to go a long way to the Nevada parole commissioners. But you're right, OJ's going to, he's going to have to sing the song. How, or, sorry, go ahead. go ahead. How does, how, what does he need to be able to be let out early? What, what does the board do? What kind of vote do we, are we looking at? Well, there's going to be a total of four commissioners sitting in Carson City, and it has to be a unanimous vote. Okay. If, there's no unanimous vote. They're going to call on two additional commissioners remotely, likely via video conference from Las Vegas. He's got to get four votes. If he doesn't get four votes, they're going to table it for six months. However, OJ actually had an earlier parole hearing on some of the lesser charges with shorter sentences. He was already granted parole on those. Mm. So unless OJ has gotten in some, into some sort of catastrophic situation that none of us know about, we expect him to be granted parole today, which means he'll be released in October. And of course, you can't talk about O.J. Simpson without the murders that happened that he was acquitted for. So I would guess most people don't want him out of prison, but will these uh, four people, I know it's in the back of their sure. mind, will they be able to do it not thinking about that? You know, Scott, I think it's in the back of everyone's mm -hmm. brain. It's, it's in our brain. That's what we're, what we're talking about here. But these are separate crimes that O.J. went to prison for right. in Nevada, and that's what the parole board is going to be looking at. And, you know, you, you may have a lot of distaste for OJ for what he did, but, but he was acquitted. But the legal process of, uh, for parole is looking at his Nevada sentence. So, mm -hmm. you know, you may hate the player, but you can't hate the game. Uh, very well said on that. What happens next, though? Say, say he is let out. What happens? What, can he, is he free to go wherever he wants now? N not exactly. If OJ is approved for parole, he would be released sometime in October. Now, as I understand it, OJ would like to go back to Florida, partially because he wants to be able to dodge a, a judgment in the wrongful death lawsuit that was brought by the family mm -hmm. of Ron Goldman. Um, however, under Nevada law, he's going to have to remain in the state unless an exception is granted. And that may be possible, mm -hmm. but there's a process that he's going to have to go through just like any other prisoner in the state. So it happens around 10 o'clock this morning, and uh, if he's released, it wouldn't be till uh, October 1st, I believe. Will, will the decision come down right there while they're talking, or could it be a couple of hours? There's been a lot of controversy about that because how many parole hearings are streamed live, exactly. carried by ESPN? Exactly. I <laughs> right. mean, you know, OJ, he still got his celebrity status Absolutely. 22, almost 22 years after the, the acquittal came down mm -hmm. on the murder charges. Um, you know, at, at this point, um, the board has made very clear they want to render a decision on the spot. Whether that's the norm or not, that's debatable, but I think they feel the pressure. They want this over once and for all. So we could see it live that moment where they make that decision. Very wow. possible. Okay. So once again, the world is watching. Jason, uh, thank you so much. OJ we keeps us in suspense it. after all these it's years. Crazy. Decades later, so amazing. Thanks, Jason. <laughs> Bet. It's 718, and ANOT says that there is an accident uh, on the I-10 East.